In this movie of the special effects section, we'll take a look at some advanced masking. We've looked at some rather sophisticated uses of masking to do things like blinking eyes. What we'll do now is actually combine some of the powerful masking features of Anime Studio Pro with other programs that are common to most studios. And what I'm talking about is something like Photoshop or Paint Shop Pro or Corel Photo Paint, something like that, where you can actually work with pixel-based images. We are going to turn our dear friend Windsor here into Lizard Boy using some advanced masking techniques. Heck, we should have done that when we were doing the, uh, the preceding movie on the Godzilla one. But here's what we'll do. We're going to take a character, and this is one that's already been made that is pixel-based, but you can do this with vector-based characters of your own or even some of the samples that come with Anime Studio Pro. What we'll do is we'll take their exploded view at frame one. And I'm going to need to zoom back the camera so we get everything in our frame. And we're going to take this exploded view and actually, let me center this and use the track there. We are going to take this into the paint programs, create a texture, export the texture out in a PNG format, a ping format, apply that within Anime Studio Pro and then have a new completely cool texture to work with on your characters just super fast. So now that we've got the exploded view, the rigging view of our character, what I need to do is export this out, but it needs to be big enough to give me enough detail that it works well in the animation. So I need to come up to the project settings. I'm going to change it from the default, a 320 to 240, You've got some defaults you can pick here. I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to make this rather large. 1024 by 762. I'll select OK. And I'm not going to do an animation here, but what I'm going to do is render a single frame. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut for that. And we see our character rather large here, but this is perfect for going ahead and doing what we'll need to do. So with this, I'm going to come down here and it's just off the edge of the, the view area. There is a save as dialog box. I'm going to save it as a JPEG file. And we're going to save this as Windsor Base into our special effects catalog in the working files under texture, Windsor Base JPEG to the texture file. And you can open this there if you want. And I'll go ahead and close this now. But the next step is to actually jump in to Photoshop. And let me shrink this up a little bit so it's easier to see. We're going to create a texture over these areas and then bring that back into the rigging portion of Anime Studio Pro. Let me move that over just a smidge here. Now we know this is where the arms and the heads are. I could do, and I'm not giving a Photoshop tutorial here, we could do different kinds of selection methods. But pretty much what I want to do is go ahead and give myself a wide range around this. I'm going to shift click for a multiple selection area so that I don't have any registration problems with our texture that we have over the character. I don't want it shifting and revealing a little bit of the texture underneath. So with a larger area like this selected just for skin tones, I'm going to go ahead and I've got green pre-selected in my color picker here. I'll go ahead and create a new layer. I will fill the selected area with that green color. And now I'm going to go ahead and have a little more fun with it. We'll add a mosaic tile feature, which is a filter set, which gives us this nice type of uh, lizardy skin but I don't want it to be so overwhelming that we can't see some of the other characteristics of Windsor. So I will take this layer, I will go ahead and reduce the opacity of it to something close to 50%. This is about how it will appear on our character back in Anime Studio. So the next step is to hide the background layer that we imported. Now I'll go ahead and do a save as, and it will only save out this file, and it will save out all the transparency information or alpha information back into a ping format that we can use in Anime Studio Pro. So doing a save as function, I will go ahead and Windsor base copy, no longer a JPEG. I'll change it to a PNG file, and actually I'm going to rename this instead, Lizard. We'll save this into our texture file in a ping format. It'll say, do you want that uh, interlaced? And we'll say, 
um, none, OK. It exports that. And now we can go ahead and hop back in to Anime Studio with the arm layer selected in the layers. And the reason I'm selecting this is when we import this texture file, I want it to be inside the folder for the bones here so that it's attached completely to our character here. I'll do File, Import, come down to Image. It'll say, what image do you want? And we'll go ahead and come over here to Texture, Lizard PNG File, and select Open. We see it come in now in the same area that we drew it inside Photoshop, and that's one of the reasons we, we did it at that size. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and look at how we apply it to the skin and only the skin areas that we want in Anime Studio Pro.